Welcome to a new Monday morning routine. It's Coffee with Strangers with Kelly Lemon. Hey, it's Kelly, and today I'm at Elwood Thompson to grab coffee with Bert Ahrens. Bert's the catering manager at Elwood's and was a huge part of making National Coffee with Strangers Day possible. You know how I start the show? I cheers. Because I feel like every day needs a cheers of some sort. So I know who you are. I know what you do. My name is Bert, and I've been Bert since second grade. <laughs> My formal name is Roberta Ahrens, yeah. and I'm catering manager for Elwood Thompson. What does your day-to-day look like? Every day is different. It's such a great vibe when you walk in the store. We are growing the catering business, which is consisting of uh, box mm-hmm. lunches for like corporate, 10 okay. people or more. And it's healthy lunches in schools, primarily private schools, um, that don't have a cafeteria. It's events, so we have an approved tent, uh, a food truck maybe in our future. And uh, it's catering for 10 people or more, as well as grab and go on a wholesale basis. Why did Elwood decide that catering was something that they needed to get involved with? We have a catering menu online. Um, The piece that was missing was the sales link, so that would be me, Um, and a brand to the face of Elwood Thompson. We agreed that it was a perfect match for me to come in at this time based on all the grocery wars that are going on in this area. Elwood's been around since 89. I grew up on Elwood's and you have to continue to be inventive and creative to, you know, stick around. We believe in creating experiences for people. Um, catering is definitely that. How'd you get here? I am an artist, chef, sales, marketing caregiver. With that said, I had a very strong sales and marketing career for over 20 years. Yeah. I have a degree in fine arts from BCU. When I met Rick Hood, the owner of Elwood Thompson's, and told him what I am, he was like, Bert, you're a perfect match. So you kind of created your job. I did. Okay, yeah. yeah. You took all the things that you've done before and made them into one over here. Exactly. Right. Yeah, it's my dream job, Kelly. Gotcha, gotcha. Do you drink coffee? I do drink coffee. Okay. So I get up, I have one cup of coffee, and I'm good for the day, and then it's water from there on out. Where's home? I was born and raised in Milford, New Jersey, and then I came down here and went to VCU for fine arts and graduated and stayed. Why did you choose VCU? Primarily for fine arts. Okay. Great program. So do you get to take advantage of Carytown because you work here, or do you just come into work and not get to kind of explore the other ends of the street? Carytown is iconic. Yeah. And whenever I have friends visit from different parts of the country, we walk Carytown, and it's memorable, and um, when they come back, they, they want to come back to Carytown. Where do you rest your head? I now live in Manchester. Why that part of town? I wanted to be closer to Elwood's. Mm-hmm. Um, I moved from Churchill. Churchill has gone through it's it's like everybody wants to be there now Scott's Edition is kind of the the place where everybody wants to be but Manchester and the north side are those two areas that are really starting to see the growth last three places that you ate and unfortunately you can't say here actually we did a farm tour on Saturday so I I made pizza in a firebrick oven at Broadford Farm okay so I ate pizza on the farm fresh salad you know from their fields and then I would have to say after that, City Diner. Okay. Yeah, Breakfast. Yeah, that's the a good best one. Yeah, ever. That's a good and one. actually, McLean's is a good one, too. Yeah, yeah. Do you get to eat out a lot? You know, I'm a chef, so yeah. I, for me, the best food is in my home. Good. I love to cook. If I do go out, I will say Angela's Restaurant off of um, Ridge Road. It's been around a, almost as long as I've been in Richmond, and yeah. it is the best Italian, hands down. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of Roland Restaurant on Maine. Okay. Um, husband and wife team there. What are some hidden gems in Richmond or what are some things that you feel that um, need as much exposure as possible? Synapse Hubs is a group that I became involved with before I ended up at Elwood Thompson's. Yeah. And uh, Keith Reynolds is one of the founders. Mm -hmm. Great guy. For a networking group, They are just the most awesome people ever. Again, a real mix of people, but they support the local nonprofits. So I was really glad that I got involved in that, but it is is kind of a secret and it's still getting out. I am running a hub here, representing Tricycle Urban Ag. Okay. And we meet on Mondays bi-weekly at uh, 3 p.m. in the B. What are you looking forward to coming up this fall? It'll be my first holiday seasons at Elwood Thompson's and I understand Thanksgiving is the all-time big 
uh, event. You know, look forward to being part of that madness yeah. um, in a good way. What do you love about Richmond? I love that it has four seasons mm -hmm. and it's not cold all the time. We have a really long sunny season, mm -hmm. a small winter, <laughs> and actually I, I enjoy the humidity. Uh, aside from that, I think Richmond has really changed over the years. It's become certainly a, a music, foodie, art scene. Mm -hmm. Those are all elements that are a big part of my life. If you are somewhere other than Richmond and you have to talk about Richmond because people say, you know, they want to know, well, what is Richmond? What's your 15 second elevator speech? Richmond is a conservative historical town that is upcoming and contemporary. There's just so much to do now in Richmond and it's becoming a destination city. To hear the rest of my interview with Bert, check out the Coffee with Strangers podcast on your preferred podcast app. Subscribe to this channel on YouTube and visit coffeewithstrangersrva.com to subscribe to the newsletter. Okay, see you soon.